Welcome to an episode of my Linux driver tutorials. Today I want to show you how you can access a file in your file system from within a driver. But be warned, normally you shouldn't use this feature only if it's extremely useful for you or if you can't avoid it. Normally you should manage your files in your file system from user space instead of over a driver application. So, but there are some reasons where it absolutely makes sense to do so. A good example for is if you have a device and the driver has to load firmware into this device. And if the firmware is changing a lot of times, maybe compiling the firmware into the driver isn't so good because then you every time you get a new firmware you have to recompile the driver. So here it might be easier to just put the firmware somewhere in your file system and let the driver access it, read it and load it to the device and you're good. There are some reasons to do this. So today I will show you how to do it. Here I am connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and the first thing I will do is I will navigate into my Linux driver tutorials folder. In here I have the various Linux drivers I've created for the series of tutorials. And as a template for today, I will use the simple Linux kernel module and I will create a new folder I will call 31 file access. Okay, and now let me cd into it. So here we have a make file to build our kernel module and our, the source code for our kernel module. And I rename this to fileaccess.c. And of course I have to change this in the make file as well. File access.o. Okay, cool. So now let me open up the source file. And here you can see the sources for a simple Hello World Linux kernel module. For the file operations or for accessing the file system, I need to include Linux slash fs.h. And here let me change the description as well. Um, an example for reading and writing to a file in your file system from a driver. A little bit long description, but never mind. And we will do all the file handling in here in the init function. So first we need some variables for the file. I need a pointer from the type struct file. Then I will need some data. This is data I will write to the file and then read back. And let's use a quote here. So, hey, careful man, there's beverage here. And this quote is from the big Lebowski from the dude. So let's print this out here. And then I will need a variable to store in the bytes I've read or written into the file and I will call it len. Okay, so now let's open the file. Therefore, I will need to call the fulp open function. This function has several arguments. The first one is the um, absolute path to the file I want to open. And here I will open the file temp dude. The second argument are the flags, which are telling um, with which permission I want to open this file. These are just the same like from user space. So here I'm using o read write to have read and write access and o create to create the file in case it doesn't exist on my file system. The last argument here is the file permissions I want to give the file. And here I will use 644 so owner can read and write, the rest can only read it. So if this returns a null pointer, an error occurred while opening the file. And I will print out file access error opening file. And let's print out the error as well, the error code. Oh, there is no error code here, so I can print it out. And let's return with minus one here from our module. Then the next step is write to the file. For writing, I will use the function kernel 
write. This function takes several arguments. The first one is the file to which I want to write. The second one is the data I want to write. Then the size of data I want to write. And the last argument is the position in the file. And I can get this with f ops. And I have to place a pointer in here because after the write, um, the position will change to, yeah, to where, to the last byte we've written to it. And in case this function returns a negative value, so if len is smaller than zero, we have an error here. So file access error writing to file. And let's print out the error code here. Then I will close the file. I can do this with full close. So the close function here takes two arguments. The first one is the file struct we want to close. And the second one is a legacy parameter. It was a pointer to an ID, but it's not used any longer. So I can set it to null here. And if this worked with success, let's print something out. So, uh, wrote bytes to file, because in case of success, in here I should have the number of bytes which were written. Okay, now let's read it back. So the first thing I will do here is I will use memset to clear my data with zeros. Okay, and then I have to reset the um, position in the file to zero because I want to read the file from the start. And now I can use kernel the kernel read function to read from my, from my file. So I want to read from the file, I want to read into data, I want to read size of data bytes. And once again, here I have to pass in my current position in the file. And once again, if len is smaller than zero, I can just copy this here, these three lines. But instead of a writing error, I have an error reading the file. And I will close it. Okay, and after um, reading it, I print, can print it out. Read all the bytes, and here we will have our string. So, len and data. And last but not least, of course, I have to close the file. Okay, and this should be mostly it. Last thing I will do here is I will change the text in the um, exit function. Unloading driver. Okay, so this should be it. Let me try to compile it. Therefore, just let's run make. Okay, um, I've made some mistakes here. Do, 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 let me see and I will be back when I know what's wrong here. Oh, okay, here I have a typo, it's not fops, it's fpos. Okay, and this should be no, not a long integer, but just an integer. Okay, so I think I can fix it quite easily. So first let's search for fops. And let's replace it with f pos because pos for position. Okay. And then the next thing, okay, they are just warnings, but never mind. So, ld here. Okay. And here I have a typo. So let's also correct this. And now let me try to recompile it. This is looking good. Let me insert my kernel module, file access KO. Okay, and if we take a look at temp, we have a dude in here, and if we try to read from this file, we get, hey, careful man, there's beverage here. 
And last but not least, let's take a look at the kernel's log. So here we can see we wrote 128 bytes to the file and then we read it back. So we got 128 bytes and here we got the string. So cool, accessing files from the file system worked. So I guess that's for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. Thank you for watching and goodbye.